Hello again everyone, Kathy here. Um, I thought I'd uh, videotape again quickly because I want to test out a few things. Um, I got a new mold yesterday. Um, it's for doing strawberries. It's a 3D mold and hopefully I can keep this in. It's got these little um, clamps which make me a little nervous because I'm, uh, I'm afraid I'm going to break them but Anyway, it's clamped together. It's a two-piece mold. And uh, just like this to make 3D strawberries out of. So today I'm going to test the mold. And I'm also going to test um, using some uh, white, white melt and pour. But I'm going to color it. And I'm going to test my colors. Uh, so I want to make some nice looking strawberries to go on top of some cupcake soaps. Um, so, I'm going to try and put a towel under this just to get it to lay straight because of the clamps. It kind of goes cattywampus. Um, so what I've got here is my white, my white melt and pour. And the first thing I'm going to try, I haven't tried this in white before, it's a Crafter's Choice Stained Glass Strawberry Red Liquid Color. Um, so we're going to give this a shot and uh, try this in my mold. And then uh, when they set up, um, we'll unmold them and see how it looks. This is looking very light in uh, the white. I'm thinking if it was a clear uh, melt and pour, it would look darker. So anyway, I don't know how dark I can get it here. Um, but the next one I'm going to try after this, the next color is the, the Raspberry Mica from Brambleberry. I'm going to try it in the white and see how it looks. <clears throat> Excuse me, lost my voice there for a second. So anyway, first, first we're gonna we're gonna give this one a shot, and I'm I'm really hoping this is a good mold. I've never used one of these before. This is gonna be a very light strawberry. Trying not to make a mess. <clears throat> but I want to do some cute uh, strawberry cupcake soaps eventually. So I'm testing things like the fragrances and and then I bought this mold and like I said the mold finally came in yesterday. Oops. So I'm giving it a shot. I have another strawberry mold, but it only does the the flat half strawberries. So I wanted a three actual three D three D one. And I know this color is gonna be way too light, but that's okay. It's good to try things out. Um, like I said, it might have showed up better in a clear, <clears throat> in a clear melt and pour, as opposed to the white. But uh, anyway, uh, we're gonna let this set up, and uh, we'll be back to unmold them in a while. So until then, I'm gonna put you on pause. Okay, we're back, and <clears throat> I think these have set up. I, I put them in the fridge for a little bit, um, just so we can get this rolling. Uh, so I'm going to pop these off. I already know the color is not what I want, but anyway, I'm, we're now testing the mold and see how easily, or not, <laughs> it comes apart. 
I don't know really how how this is supposed to work because it doesn't come with instructions, mind you. Maybe you just need muscle. Hmm. So, I'm going to be back. I'm going to try and figure out how to do this, and I'll be back. Okay, I think we've got it started here. I, I just it just takes some force. I ran it under hot water and then I kind of took these knives because I don't want to play with this one. And uh, I've got this end loosened. So we'll keep going here. And there they are. I said they're a little soft on the outside because I I ran it under hot water to kind of loosen them from the mold. Um, but they turn they turn out okay as far as shape. I like the shape. Um, I'll have to clean up uh, the sides, I think. Um, but uh, I'm gonna scrape the edges a little bit. And there we go. And I'm going to set them on a cupcake like this. Um, but anyway, not with these ones. Uh, because I don't, I'm not, it's not a real strawberry color. At least not in, uh, not in the uh, stained glass color that I use. So what we're going to try next is... Um, this raspberry mica colorant. So I'm going to melt just a little bit here. I'm going to melt a little bit of the white. I may end up having to do these out of, after, you know, in the clear melt and pour, but I wanted to see how, how I could do with the white because I have a lot of the white, so... But I do, I do like, I do like the mold. Um, so far. <laughs> okay. So I've got my white. Uh, let me just give this another little little whiz here, and we'll see. Might as well. Use this to mix my red up in. It looks a little redder. Not a lot. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go with the uh, with the clear uh, melt and pour to do these berries with. Like I said, I didn't have a lot, so I just wanted to see how it worked with the the white and the colorant. The mold is a success, though, with the exception of uh, ease of unmolding is not that easy. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe if we stuck it in the freezer as well and then ran it under hot water, maybe that would work a little, oops, a little, whoa, holy cow, a little better. I'm going to have to scrape all that off when it dries. But anyway, uh, so we'll see how this red looks. I'm already thinking, though, that it's going to have to be uh, clear melt and pour. But anyway, uh, 
we'll let this we'll let this uh, set up and then uh, we'll be back to unmold these ones they will be a little darker a little more of a red than a pink I think um, so anyway I'll put you on uh, pause again and we'll be back to unmold these when they're ready okay so we're back I uh, ran this one under really hot water uh, and uh, and then it, it popped right off so it was much easier uh, to get uh, undone uh, I just had to like I said run it under really hot water for for a little bit longer so here's the I don't notice too much of a color difference really between these berries and the first berries that I did uh, I have to clean this up uh, we'll hold them up side by side here there may be a little more on the reddish side uh, than the first ones they clean up very easy so okay so here's the first one we did which was the um, the stained glass craft, crafters choice stained glass so there there's that one and this one is the raspberry red mica from brambleberry so see there's not like a lot of difference in the color there um, anyway it was much easier to unmold uh, what I'm going to do really quick, I'm going to put this back together and I'm going to do just a tiny bit of my um, clear melt and pour with the uh, raspberry red mica because I know I get a nice berry color with that. So I'm just going to do a couple of them. Get that out of there. And I really have to wash this <laughs> when I'm done because it's a it's a it's a little slimy because I spilled the soap uh, on the last pour. Anyway, uh, so let me just melt this a little bit really quick. Got my clear. There's a touch of of that in there. Doesn't take much. To get a nice berry color. Just move this off the sides. See that raspberry red gives a really a nice color so hopefully and and I noticed just a tiny little bit here and there um, comes out on the bottom but if I you know have it on the the towel uh, it's not too bad Oops. so scooch this over so you can see okay so we got the raspberry mica and the clear melt and pour now which I think is going to give me a nicer color berry and this is just a really a tiny bit uh, we got maybe a quarter cup here So we'll try and not so messily pour this this time. Yeah, 
I think this is going to be what I'm going to have to go with to get the kind of berry look that I'm going for. It's not that I can't use these other ones. I will probably use them, but we'll see if I do them on a melt and pour cupcake versus my cold process. I think these red ones I'll use on the cold process one. I don't know if I have enough to do another one. Oh, yes, yeah, just barely. Okay, so I'll top this one off here a little bit more. Okay, so we'll let those sit up. I think that's going to be much better. So if you can see, whoops, you see the red. It looks much better in these so far. So we'll let those ones sit up and then we'll pop them out. And, uh, and then that'll be it for my test. So let me put you back on pause. Okay, we're back. And... We're just going to pop these uh, uh, red ones out that I colored with my clear Melt and Pour and Brambleberry's Raspberry Mica. And this is exactly what I wanted. Um, this is the color I was going for. So now I know what I have to use. I'll show them all to you again, just to recap. Um, but I am finding that, yeah, you just have to hold this under hot water, uh, you know, pretty good. Uh, just run it down the sides in hot water, and then the bottom, and then uh, it pops apart fairly easy. So, uh... Don't have to kill yourself trying to pry it apart with a knife like I was trying to do at the beginning. So, okay, to recap, I uh, have to get these all in a row. So this is this is the first one we did with the Crafter's Choice um, stained glass uh, strawberry red, and it came out more of a pink, and that was done with the white um, melt and pour. This next one also done with a white melt and pour, but with the raspberry mica from Brambleberry. So you see there's a slight difference. And then this one is uh, the winner. Uh, and this was my clear melt and pour done with the raspberry mica from Brambleberry. So there you go. And what I thought would be fun is to see how this would look if we took just a few little poppy seeds and dotted dotted it with the poppy seeds and that kind of makes it look a little more realistic like a more of a real strawberry I don't know if you can see isn't that cute anyway uh, for now I'll take them off uh, a little bit off my fingers anyway. So that's that's uh, my uh, review of the different colors in different type of melt and pours. Um, the winner being my clear melt and pour with the uh, raspberry mica from Brambleberry. Turned into a really cute 3D strawberry which will go on top of my cupcake soaps my strawberry ones that I will make eventually but anyway so there you go um, once again it's the 3d mold I got this on eBay I think it cost me around $13 um, but I think well worth it to get a nice a nice strawberry and maybe you can find these cheaper somewhere but this is this is what I found so Anyway, there we go. Our little tutorial, uh, test, uh, demo, whatever you want to call it for today. Everybody have a great Sunday and we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.